Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today, it's with great pride I'm unboxing uh, Q Acoustics Concept 500, the pinnacle of their range, uh, brand new to the industry, brand new to New Zealand, only just arrived, these massive floor standing speakers from Q Acoustics. Um, now these are in pairs, so I'm going to leave this one alone and I'm going to concentrate on that one in front of me. Uh, there are two person lifts, so please, if you get one of these in your home, be very, very careful. Um, now a couple of things with big speakers and the packaging and things along those lines. Uh, most good speaker manufacturers understand that they've come a very, very long way, and so the packaging needs to be 100%. And con uh, the Q Acoustics companies, they have not scrimped on this product. The packaging is excellent. It's going to almost guarantee that these products will arrive to you in one piece. So, big speakers. Here's one of them on their sides. First of all, you'll see big, big packing tapes, big packing bands, I should say. Um, ensures we have sort of a factory fresh sort of feel to them, but also leg legitimately helps being able to carry these up and down stairs and, and deal with them. That's the first thing we're going to get rid of. So it's good to see that they've added that level. Um, it is much easier to carry them around with that. Then we look at these carry handles. They're just carry handles. Uh, so again, two person lift, so we're going to move them around. At this end, there's, uh, when they're sitting upright like this, you'll see a printed label at the top saying, look, open it at the other end. So open it at the bottom, that's what we're going to do. These, um, I'll move them around a little bit so you can have a look. These are uh, packed uh, with um, clear packing tape. Uh, model and serial number, model information is on all sides. Um, serial number information is on the base. And opening these... They are sellotaped but also stapled. So as we do with uh, most of the products that have staples, we should always recommend that the staples are removed. So I've got thick cardboard, and one of the first things I'm going to do to ensure that these staples never damage the product, and really good advice for you at home, is to take these staples out as soon as you can. Um, get rid of them then they won't scratch the beautiful new speakers as you continue to unbox them. Opening one end, you see again what levels they've gone to as far as their packaging. The, the outer box reveals an inner box. And lumping these around is difficult, so bear with me. These lumps of speakers, oh, that's heavy. Take a lot of effort to get out. I'm just running out of ceiling height here, so I'm going to lean them, them over. Okay. So, huge, huge freight box. We'll get rid of that one. So as we see these, we've got um, a massive Velcro band at this point. Um, again, a sizable effort from Q Acoustics perspective as far as making sure that these things are packed well. And it has the ability to undo them at the bottom. So I'm going to just carefully put it back on the ground. I can see all sorts of uses for this by the time we're finished. So the bending is... Um, there we go. Loose them off. I think, I think for, for our perspective, I think I'm going to stand these back up again. It seems logical to be unboxing these from a standing position. 
off come to the top, and you have a look at the elaborate packaging that they're doing. So the first thing is the lid is closed cell foam. Um, very elaborate, always designed to obviously the best in protection. Which is a huge amount. Look at the depth of that thing there. Look at how deep that packaging is as far as the sides of the speakers go. So there's two sets of those. And the speaker sitting in a cloth bag. As far as navigating that out, the first is to lift. Okay. Now, in the bottom of the closed cell foam is a accessory box. The accessory box is very easy to take out, and we'll get rid of this and have a look. It looks like it'll slip, but it doesn't want to come easily, so let's just force it and see. Okay, so. Another layer of Q Acoustics logos, a little bit of foam. We've got a Concept, um, Concept 500 brochure there, held in place with another layer of foam. And um, the spikes and other accessories, including the bridging clips. Now, this, this particular one is, is for the rear of the speaker, and I'm, uh, please hang around for the photographs for this product because it is uh, designed to help us attenuate some of the tweeter configuration. So watch for that one. We've got um, four spikes. And as we're only opening one of these today, obviously there's going to be an emulation of stuff in the other one. Okay? And a good sized product manual and brochure. It's pretty the one of discarding the plastic bag We've got a beautiful microfiber cleaning cloth and a comprehensive multilingual um, uh, owner's manual. Okay, so back to these speakers. It's a beautiful cloth bag. This is a, a synthetic bag, but um, very soft. And as I sort of rock the speaker a little bit, we're able to pull that bag off just very carefully. This is like a polishing cloth as far as its consistency. It's quite beautiful, very soft. And looking at this speaker for the first time, you'll see how the tension to detail and the quality of it. The front grille is magnetically held in place and again covered with a very soft polishing style cloth. Designed to protect this and freight and ensure that it can't at any stage scratch anything. This magnetic grille is, uh, it has a, a label on it saying this way up, so please, that way, and in place it goes. So, looking at this speaker. This is two-tone with a dark walnut and a front surface in, in gloss black. It's absolutely seamless, and I mean seamless, between these finishes. It is utterly beautiful. It gives an illusion, looking at it, of the speaker not being as deep. This, this change in colour really does give uh, an amazing feature. Okay. I'll take that grill off for a moment so you can all see. They are a, a, a three-way design, tweeter, mid-range and bass. Unusual to most speakers, and certainly anything in this price point, is that it is absent, and I mean completely absent, of any fixing screws at the front. Naturally, of course, those screws can eventually have vibration and issues with um, needing to tighten them, I guess, but um, also they look a bit ugly and can affect the reflection of sound. This curved front is obviously very well managed, and, and to ensure that they have no issues with that front, these speakers are mounted from the rear. They're spring-loaded and forced forward um, to the front of the speaker to give you um, the connection to the front surface, but without any of the screws or other things that you see in other products. Beautiful large dome with a, uh, a semi-soft filament, and of course base there as well. Looking down the speaker again, I want you to have a, a good look at the base. Uh, these are already very stable and I haven't added any spikes or anything along those lines. The spikes we'll add for the photo, so again, please hang around for those. The base is semi-circular and, and a very heavy, very stable already out of the box. Okay. Looking at the rear, you'll see another um, aspect that is part of the design and build of this product. This 
part here is how the speakers are assembled. So they're fed, this, this plate is, uh, I guess, removable, but manufactured wise is sealed. Um, the speakers are passed in and, and then attached to the front. There's so many big nuts and bolts, you can see that they're not wanting this to vibrate at all. If I understand correctly, that's also where the crossover network sits. The main binding posts further down are bi-wireable, um, but I would suggest that the cables go directly up to the crossover network that's here. This is in some way a heatsink, but also gives us the ability to attenuate with the clip that, I'll, that I showed you in the accessories um, to add a little bit of uh, detail or presence at the top end of the tweeter. So it's a little bit of attenuation. It's excellent to see that feature. Further down the bottom of the speaker we've got at the port. This has a variable port rod. Um, very common to see a port rod being used, but this one has a, um, a variable area. So you could leave it open or slow it down with the first section or completely block it by adding both. Okay. Further down again, the binding posts. In fact, um, these have an excellent feel to them. Really, really good feel. Um, they've certainly not scrimped on those. They're, they're massive in their size, very straightforward. There's a, there's a good firmness to them. Uh, they'll handle a banana, a spade, as well as bare wires. Um, again, attention to detail and quality of finishing is second to none at this particular product. Okay, so looking at these beautiful speakers, the Q Acoustics Concept 500 flagship floor standing speaker from Q Acoustics, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. <laughs>